and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swoosh, and I'm here reviewing Walmart. Uh, what a tremendous move for this stock. Uh, totally unexpected. Uh, saw all the earnings come out here this morning. I'm just going to take a look here and show you this. This, all of this in here. Huge, huge, huge move up, okay? Low in here was 91.25, ran up this morning. I think it was 144 was the high up here this morning, uh, right there. So then it opened and it looked like it was gonna hold right in the open. I mean, it was holding pretty good into the open. Then it dropped, then it fell, then it held. And to me, well, the way that I read this, this held, this held today in a tremendous way. And I called an option letter in this today, or an option call in this today. It's, it's gonna just explode. Uh, whether it's tomorrow, whether it is next week, it is within the time that I called the option, I called two trades. Um, this is really going to have a big move. This was just a huge report for them. So um, how I look at it is I'm looking to see what is happening in the stock. Is there institutional buying or is there institutional selling? Okay. So when I look at Walmart, and this is what you learn in the class from me, okay? When I'm looking at Walmart here, uh, gosh, this was so good. I just can't get over how good it was. And and the only reason that this didn't flip around today and rally over the high and go green in a big way is simply because the market kind of was dead today, did not really have much momentum in it. That's number one. Number two, it is summer, all right? It is summer. And also, uh, this had a humongous move, you know? But the fact that it held and the fact, that, I mean, just the whole gap itself, like I said, I rated the gap this morning, per my golden gap rating system, this was a fantastic gap, 22 points. So you, can, you can't ignore that. You can't ignore it. And again, it did not fail today. So you gotta learn how to read this right. Uh, in fact, this is, this is gonna make new highs soon. I mean, I, don't, I can't tell you the exact date, and obviously, you know, anywhere it goes up and above and beyond and rallying, you'd make money in it going long in here. Uh, but this is not that far off the highs and you can't deny it. So 110 was a previous high and the stock hit up today over 100. So this, it looks great. It, they are competing against Amazon and they are really the only ones that possibly could do it. Uh, and I really just love this gap. So we will see where it is. For, as far as the day trade today, I wouldn't say it was hard, but I wouldn't say it was easy. It took two shots. It did work. I was aggressive on this today. It was warranted. It was warranted. It worked. Uh, in fact, let's just go over this here. Again, you got to have conviction. Here, let me just squeeze it up. You got to have conviction when you trade. If you don't have conviction when you trade, it's hard to trade. If you have conviction when you trade, it's easier to trade. It doesn't mean you'll never have a bad day if you have conviction. That's not, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying you will have far and few between bad days. And even days like today, this actually was a good day for me, okay? Made out in this today. But I'm saying that if you didn't have the conviction, you may not have hit this here today. You may not have stayed with the trade. You may have killed it, all right? or not retaken it and 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 if you didn't have the conviction but i did have the conviction so and the conviction was in the gap so here was the rally up this failed didn't fail right away gave it a wide stop failed dropped down took it almost immediately almost immediately which is rare uh, almost immediately as soon as we got stop took it again this was the low of the day low of the day and the stock ended up being what 97.91 yeah so and then it just rallied 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 went almost up to 100 here in the period and, and it would have, actually, this would have gotten and gone over the high and gone green today if it had gotten over 100 a second time later. It did not, but it got close. And you could have watched this here, right in here, where it was facing out. It was trying, 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 trying. And when it didn't do it, you know, if you were in this, you had to take it out. But I, I still had a really nice move in this. And I did tell people they could add to it over 99 for the secondary move, but it worked. If you didn't stick with it, you didn't make out. I love this for long term. This is a top watch for a long term move, bullish move. So we'll see what Walmart does. Good luck, everyone. This looks fantastico. Um, and we'll see where it goes. This was the play of the day in the Socks with Show Live Trading Room today. If you'd like to learn how to trade gaps, if you'd like to learn what I do and how to do it for yourself, all right, or be in the room and get my information direction picks daily you can do the golden gap course this weekend email me at melissa at the stock
to sign up and register.